me start with a verse from Bhagavad Gita. It says that Udhare Atman Atmana Atmanam Avatadayet Atmaima Atmano Bandur Atmaima Ripur Atmana. In a nutshell, which means you are the boss of your mind. You are your friend too, as well as your enemy too. If you want to come up, come up in life, you need to listen to your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, 43 years ago, when I came to Bangalore, I could not even speak fluently English for 2-3 minutes. But today, I am standing in front of you. I had no godfathers, godmothers even. All along, I believed that if you are honest, hardworking, and if you have the perseverance, and you have ambition too, you will achieve. And as I told you, I came from a microscopic minority. I came from a village called Tirthahalli in Shimoga district. My parents were very humble and they never had very big dreams. Their aim was their children should study and run their shops. That's what my father wanted and he wanted me to finish SSLC or PUC, that's all. They never dreamt big. But being in a very big family, many times I used to feel discomfort and I had a tendency to run away from my home. Believe me, when I was just 11 years old, I ran away from my home. In between, I have been caught and brought back. Once again, when I was around 17 years old, once again, I ran away. I stole some jewels from my home and I wanted to go. But somehow, I mother, my mother caught me and pacified me not to do such things. Next day, I felt very guilty and I said that this is not the, my place, I should run away. With small money, I ran away to Davangari, where one of my friends was there. For my this thing, I never knew that what place was it. It was the place called Bandur Camp. Those days, it was red light area. I never knew that. I did not have the money and I wanted to serve the job. I went here and there, and I did not get a job anyway. Around 15 days, life is gone, and I lost money and everything, and many times, I was living on just single meal a day. I knew and I understood what the hunger is, what the starvation is. And after around 15 days, I got a job in one hotel called Vidyarthi Bhavan, I was appointed as a waiter. But I worked for one day, one and a half day. But second day, my owner said, you are not fit for doing this job. You have many confusions and all those things. Tomorrow onwards, you should be a hotel cleaner. You need to wash vessels as well as table cleaning and all those things. Somehow, I did not like that my conscience did not permit that, that, that I said, no, I can't work. Another I, few days I searched for one more job, somehow I could not get it, and I came back to my residence in the Hadley once again. And as I finished my SSLC, to be frank with you, I failed in SSLC and in PUC as well. When I failed in PUC, People around told me that you are very good at art and why can't you join an art college? Till then, I never knew that there will be an art college to teach drawing and painting. I joined Dhamanagari Art College. Believe me, in the first year itself, after entering my 15 days, there was a students' union election. Those days, students' unions were very strong and it was influencing on the society. I stood for general secretary's post. I was quite popular then. 
despite that i have lost by one single vote believe me next year i should stood for the same election with the same opponent he got only one vote and i got all the votes from college that was his personality i mean by being a student leader those days students unions were very powerful and we wanted to have a student section committee of davanagere students and i have been chosen as the president of student section committee those days we used to have many agitations and since the hotel prices were very high we want to take up that issue and we started agitating initially the hotel people were not ready to reduce their prices and where many negotiations were held somehow they could not heed finally i led many agitations one is that against this hotel price and we took a procession of students as usual many anti social elements joined to this and they want, they have started pelting the stones looting the shops hotels are some many things happened i never wanted that to happen being a student leader i never wanted that to that to happen i wanted to stop that in one th- in front of a theater i raised the my hands and told them not to pelt the stones one person hit me that that stone came to my left eye and because of i was wearing a spectacle my eye was saved next day there was a meeting with the district authorities police commissioner dc and every body were there i told them anyhow they should reduce the prices they were not ready finally we did a experiment how much rice is needed for how many dosas and all those things ultimately we proved that they are wrong and they have reduced the prices of the hotel that was my very successful agitation <laughs> meanwhile jp movement has happened jay prakash narayan started a nava nirman movement all over india all the students unions they started for the agitating and all those things. and meanwhile so then prime minister indira gandhi proclaimed the emergency on june 26 1975 all the opposition leaders opponents of government were arrested big police wanted to arrest me as well i went underground and they could not catch me several times they chased me literally to catch me somehow they could not do that because of my intellectual property and i know i knew how to do how to escape and all those things <laughs> later thing is that thing is that what we were doing the agitation is not simply going underground and all those things i was able to do another set of satyagrahis and all those things i need to arrange all those things that's why i was contacting the student leaders one student leaders collided with the police and they wanted to catch me one day he asked me to come to a park there was a small hotel in a hut and i believed him and i went there and when i sat there police surrounded me and arrested me i could not escape same day they put me in the cell of the police station it was a very small place even for peeing they had kept a small ardan pot we used to pee there and next day they were supposed to produce me to the court what they did to scare the other people they took me and they paraded me with the handcuffs in the roads in front of everybody and after 15 days i was in a jail for downgare downgare jail and after that i got a bail but every day i used to go to the police station and sign that was my contract but i did not stop the anti government activities ultimately the district authorities put me a draconian law called misa maintenance of internal security act 
and they have arrested me. Not only that, they have ordered a banishment from me from entering that district. Ultimately, I was taken to the Ballari Central Jail. I am the second person from the, 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 this, that district to have MISA detention. And in Ballari Central Jail also, many atrocities, many things happened. Many things happened. One incident I would like to illustrate here. The thing is that there was much corruption in the jail. They were misusing the prisoners' funds. We were against that and one deputy jailer was thinking that I should do something against these people. And they incited and instigated a group of prisoners there and they attacked us with their rods, reapers and such kind of things. But we were inside and we were not supposed to attack them. Though physically, myself and many people were very fit to attack them, but we were not supposed to do that. That's why many people were wounded, they fell on the ground and all those things. One person, one person wanted to attack me. He came with a rod and all those things. He attacked me on my head. Somehow I was very defensive and I could stop through my hand and I survived. Thing is that like this many things happened in the jail. Once the, we were out of the jail after 14 months, I joined Davanigare Arts College as a lecturer. All along, art was my companion. I worked there for three years as a lecturer. Somehow, I being a very popular teacher, many people did not like me, my behavior, my, my publicity, my popularity, and they hatched a conspiracy against me. Ultimately, students went agitation, and I resigned and came to Bangalore. When I came to Bangalore, same problem. Since I had no godfather, I had to set my own job. Ultimately, I got a job in Clarion Advertising. That was the number one agency in those days. Due to my communication problems, I could not mix with many people, but somehow I managed to do so. After five years of existence there, I, some of my friends wanted to start an advertising agency on, on our own and I became the managing director of Vinyas Advertising in 1986. And somehow as I told you the, from the beginning, I had many lacunas in my personality. I could not run the show properly and I joined BEML, Bharata Movers Limited. I worked there for 26 years. And when I am supposed to retire, that time government of Karnataka offered me to head the Karnataka Lalit Kala Academy. And only for one year and the government changed, they removed us. <coughs> many people thought, many my detractors and my enemies thought that his life is finished. But every time they said like that, I used to rise, I used to came up like a phoenix from the ashes. When I was looking, I was doing my painting and all those things, one day I got a call from the Delhi that I should head the Lalit Kala Academy in New Delhi, which is the apex body of visual art in India. And do you know who chose me as the head of that? None other than our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. He took me and he sent me a message telling that Shetty ji, I have confidence on you. You should prove that. Being taken by that, I did many unprecedented programs. I did international print finale. I did international kalamela. I did Tihar Fest. Like so many things I did and I proved. That post was earlier held by Auditor Controller General of India and many senior officers. I was appointed to that post and I am the first artist to head 
as well as the administrator and the chairman. That kind of credibility I had. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I told you, if you have the perseverance and honesty and hard work, you can do so many things. When I was heading the Lalit Kala Academy, Russian embassy people came to me and they invited me to Moscow for an international, international conference organized by UNESCO. I was supposed to give the keynote there. They invited me. Not only that, they asked me to address their 260th year conference. Apart this support, they gave me honorary membership of Russian Academy of Arts and the third person of India to get. In their 260 years of existence, I got this opportunity. Like this, so many awards, so many achievements I did in my, I got in my life. Later, once I finished my duty as chairman of Lalit Kala Academy and government of India appointed me on many committees. I was there for Tagore Fellowship. I was in, I was the member of All India Council for Technical Education. Right now, I am the member of uh, trustee of Bharat Bhavan Bhopal. Like this, so many committees I have been appointed. Even now, I am doing the same. Every time they offer me something, because why? Because of my integrity, transparency, honesty. I was given 30 crore rupees in a year, but I knew that many eagles are eyeing on me. That's why I was very careful when we were handling the money and I did a wonderful job everywhere and I am standing in front of you because of my perseverance and my honesty. In the end, I would like to finish my talk with a, course, uh, with a verse from Bhagavad Gita which says that karmanye vadhikaraste maafaleshu kadachana you have to do your duty. If you do your duty properly, don't worry about the results. Don't worry about the fruits. It will come on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my life. Thank you.